you know, that, that ain't the name for none. I ain't disappointed yet, and I don't think I gotta get a Hellcat or Demon on the channel or something, but come on, man. But, uh, so yeah, I had the jump for a year now, and, uh, I love the jump, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, uh, the only bad thing I would probably say is the gas, but I mean, you don't get no truck like this and be worried about gas, so... You can't even, I might, I, I can't even really say that's a bad thing. That's the big horn, big horn trim. Um, let's get right into it. So we, when I bought it, it had these tires on here, these tires and wheels. These are 275, 7018s. I was thinking about going bigger, getting a bigger wheel and a bigger, um, and a smaller tire. But I don't know, yeah, I gotta take it to a, a, a truck shop and lift it up and see everything like i think those are aftermarket uh um aftermarket lift but i'm just not sure how much and excuse the jump for being dirty i was gonna get a car wash but i y'all know i like to keep that shit authentic as possible authentic as possible i wanted to do the video today i ain't have a wash so here it is you know what i'm saying like i said i, I gotta check to see what inch lift it is. I think it's a four inch lift. I think it's a four inch lift. And this wrap was like this. Um, It was white. Uh, it's like some gray. Gray. And then the roof. And the hood is, is uh matte black. It's dirty. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it authentic, man. I, don't, I ain't on that. That's why y'all don't never see me on the video. Welcome back to another video. I ain't on that, man. Uh, tow mirrors. People be laughing about these when you don't, when you not towing nothing, but man, and a truck like this, and this is a little crap. And a truck like this, the more fucking viewing you have, the better. It's a hell of a blind spot. I can't say that about this truck. Hell of a blind spot. Got the running boards, two tone. OEM. I don't never really use them, but if I'm riding with somebody, most of the time they'll do it. Out the market grill. I'm gonna eventually put the uh put the, the all black ram back on here. Tow hooks. Tow hooks, OEM. Never had to use them yet. To the back. Of course, the trucks come with factory 20s. I just matched it. 20 up front. And then I did. It's probably hard to see, but I got 35 on the windshield. Gotta go darker there. At nighttime, these these lights, that shit looks sweet. Ain't really, you know what I'm saying? They on, so it ain't really no lighting difference, but it looks sweet. Um, single exhaust. But I got straight pipes, so I took out the uh, muffler. It sound pretty good. These out the market. Out the market. That mat in there, that mat is like $400. It was already in there and they they cut it out and put some holes so like it, when it rained and shit, if you got the, uh, the tunnel cover back, it could just drain out. Uh, this tunnel cover is like $500. I got it up today just because. But you basically roll it back, open the tailgate, snap it in here, and then close the tailgate back. And you good. Yeah. Three pin, seven pin. Oh, I'm sorry. Seven pin, three pin. I told son. One time that was heavy, some hay, about 6,000 pounds, which is nowhere near the capacity. So you good there. That's one thing with these 2,500s. That, that tone is nothing, you know what I'm saying? I installed this on here to help it drop down and not slam. That's a little, uh, 
a little spring or a little um i think that's what it's called a spring in there or uh i forgot i think that's what it's called though it's kind of like the same thing with when you open and close the hood and they hold it but this is just uh, the opposite see it i think it's a spring i might be tripping spring spring yeah i think it's a spring and you just gotta do some little new drilling or well, maybe it is i forgot i got it on there when i first got the truck i know some people install it on both sides you know what i'm saying but I, you only really need to do it on one but um you get plenty of shit back here man i used to keep little stuff back here um when i ain't doing too much and i had a tunnel cover up um, again, I know motherfuckers probably like, damn, this joint dirty. Yeah, I know it is moving. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't on that. So I put these in uh, front and back. They like two hundred dollars. All weather Jones. They easy, easy to clean. I could take all that out, hose it down. It'd be good. Uh, there's some shit in the back right now. But you can see, I kept this shit back here because I'm like, man, it really ain't nothing to say too much about the back seats. Um, to be honest, like you know, <clears throat> this a mega, this a uh, quad cab. So, so this little floor come down. Um, so you can push it on it like I got now. I don't have to put it up, but it makes shit level like right here so you don't have to put this up um these seats fold up just the the bench fold back i know some other trucks are different um some fold forward i think even on some of the new ones they might fold down or something um some of them the back come up but these just the bench part uh Let y'all head start up. Got the uh, most stop. Nice little growl, you know what I'm saying? Nice little growl. Let me just hit it again. Uh, see, what, see what I'm saying? Them, them tow mirrors definitely do justice. Well, they say, man, why you got them jumps? Because I want them all. They help. Until you drive this truck, you ain't going to know how helpful these is. They power too. So, let's hit that. Both of them go in. Hit it again. Both of them go out at the 8.4 you connect. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. Uh, other storage in this junk. Eventually, you should use this as your phone. Eventually, I'm going uh, to try to get a wireless mat. I don't know if it'll go right here or here. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. But tons of space. Um. Of course, most of the time you're going to bring a two-wheel drive stand, four-wheel drive lock, four-wheel drive low. I think this is my first truck, so I'm still, you know what I'm saying, learning. But four-wheel drive lock, I think it's for, like, highway, like if it's snowing, rain, or sun, and you got to go a little faster, 40, 50, 60. And I think four low is, like, if you stuck in some snow or you stuck, period, um... And you need like low, you need like high torque at low speed. Like you can't go over 20 miles per hour, I think, and low. Or it might be four wheel drive lock. You can, it's vice versa. So don't really quote me. One of them is for higher speeds. One is max 20 for higher, uh, more power. So, but I can't remember which one it is. Um, you got the glove. 
we got another second glove. Got some more little, you know what I'm saying? Some more little, yeah. That's the business right there. Hall inclusive, man. Stop playing. I do be doing some hauling. I ain't been able to do as much because of my job. But I do do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go ahead and start it up on the inside. Oh, let me show this. No mind the stuff. No mind the stuff, but just trying to show the space. USB aux. Another USB. Got the wall outlet there. Tons of space. Tons of space. So I said, I'm gonna start up. The speedometer, digital, but you also got the standard jump. Uh, this middle, whole middle is, is digital. Um, I think you got all this. Go through the cycle through. Fuel economy, trip A, trip B. Um, I used this for the first time when I carried that 6,000 6, pound load. How much you want it, how much you want the trailer brake to use the brakes on the truck or the trailer brake? So, my bad, my bad. You can tell that motherfucker, I ain't been, I ain't did this in a minute. I ain't even charged my battery. I had to charge this junk one day. But like I was saying, when you got the trailer hooked up, you test to see, like this will come out slower, like like that, and you adjust it, give it less gain, more gain, depending on how well it's stopping or which. Do you want to use more brakes of the truck or more of the trailer brakes? Um, and I can't even show you the settings because it's not, it ain't gonna work. Um, the trailer set is not gonna show up on here, but it's um, oh, hold on. Okay, yeah, so this is what I used the last time. So you say use this trailer, braking, light electric, heavy electric, light electric over hydraulic, heavy electric over hydraulic. So I'm gonna eventually do a video on this. I'm still learning that myself, but this basically the same uh, 8.4U connect, probably the best, you know what I'm saying, radio. AM, FM, XM, SXM, satellite, uh, USB, aux, Bluetooth, got the controls, mirror demo, backup camera, I don't pretty HD. Let's go back into the settings. Heated, heated seat, driver, heated seat, passenger, heated wheel. Eventually, I think I could get uh, cool seats. I think that's what these buttons for. And I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to also try to get a sunroof put in. Um, this going down the incline. Put that on. Traction control on and off. Anytime you tow on the hauling, you want to use that to keep your train, your transmission cool. Um, and this pretty much the same. I ain't even going to go through the Uconnect. Yeah, this said the music was connected. Focus, focus. Yeah, and that's pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I know all the newer, I'm not sure about the truck, but I know all the newer charges and stuff, especially the scat packs, demons, and all that. All this shit is, is digital. It look way better, um, way better. But without further ado, we gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a little, a little run. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end the video. Hopefully, this jump wasn't as long as my other review video, because that was the goal. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Roll 109. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do that to all the hammies, man. Y'all know that. 
do a quick little ride and, and that's it. One thing about this jump, man, going over curves, and I mean, I don't intentionally do it, but going over, man, it's nothing. And for this truck to be inside, it's pretty quick. You can definitely feel that power when you really feel the power when you tone. And these days ain't for everybody. They ain't, it ain't like going out here and driving in a regular little car. It takes some, you know what I'm saying? But you know me, I've been driving that fast shit. Oh, the infamous seatbelt. Y'all know shit ain't changed, man. Hey, but don't be like me. Wear your seatbelt, man. Wear your seatbelt, man. Uh, it take it takes some getting used to the drive, but you know I've been, I be driving that fast shit, so it ain't take me long to get used to this. But uh, that is hey, this big motherfucker pick up now. I'm telling you, this big motherfucker pick up. I tell you that much. Sixty real quick. It's getting hot out here too, y'all. Know I be missing that motherfucker three hundred and the scat, man. That should be making me mad. I be seeing niggas drive them jumps. I be like, damn, man. But yeah, like driving this junk in the city, of course the gas gonna be horrible. I'll be averaging like eight or nine in the city. Um, on the highway, you could throw it in um, cruise control. I didn't got up to as much as like 16. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really ask for much more than that and no heavy duty truck. And I think uh, I'm gonna try to find the page, but I think, Real quick, just 70 and the 2500. But uh, the difference in towing from the 1500 to the 2500 to the 35, I think the 1500 max is about six or seven thousand. The 2500 is about 16,000. With if you got the Cummins, the diesel, the 6.4 is like 14. And the 3500 is about 22,000 with the Cummins, I think. Um, I'm gonna try to find that page. If I find it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a screenshot up or try to anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, they got Eco. So like right now, Eco just lit up. It basically, I think this is the same with the MDS with all these Hemis. On a steady rate, it uh, all your eight cylinders, it basically cut off four cylinders, and you could tell in how it sounds like the the exhaust note would change. Um, I think it like like I said, deactivates four cylinders, so you basically have running four cylinders to kind of preserve gas and shit. Um, but yeah. One more little pull um, with the window now, just so you can hear it. Um, but yeah, I love the truck, man. I love the truck. Gas is expected to be low. I like how it's, I mean, yeah, gas is expected to be low. I like how it's high. It's big. It fit me. You know what I'm saying? You can hustle and then make a little money on the side. Um, and when you really need to tow some big shit, you good. Good. You ain't quite as good as having a 3500 with the Cummins in it, but you still good for for I would say about 80, 90 percent of the things. You know what I'm saying? Unless you don't, you you want the truck for something else. A 3500 to be a best suit you, but if you ain't gonna really do too too much heavy heavy hauling, 
but you want to every once in a while, I'll go 2500 1500 if you don't really plan on hauling nothing. You know what I'm saying? For real, you might haul something once or twice a year. Two, three thousand, four thousand pounds, shit like that. Um, twenty five hundred, I think, is like a good, a good mix. Not too much, but it's more than enough for most. You know what I'm saying? sometimes and you know these DC road they be doing everything except for fixing the damn road like mo what the fuck like y'all spend money on the whole rack of other shit but that's just a story for another day um but I say one through five five being the highest I'm at like a four with how satisfied I am like my one year review I haven't had to fix nothing, anything like that, regular oil changes, tire rotations, and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Uh, I don't know the next video I'm going to do. Um, I don't know. I, like I said, my first in the, in the uh, 2022 video, I'm going to be doing a lot of more other videos, and I'm going to try to keep up with that one a month. But yeah, I might do a gas video. I don't know. I got a couple little ideas. Right now, that motherfucker, this don't take 89. That shit damn near $5. I just put 60, 70 in there. You know what I'm saying? That's it. But until next time, appreciate the support. Shit like, subscribe.